What's up, Skrulders? It's Derp here, and today we're gonna play a ranked match video. Um, let's just make any sense. We're gonna play a ranked match, and this is a ranked match video. So I'm three in the ladder right now. Alpha Century is 1880 rating. Tajik is 1883 rating. So if we can gain at least six rating, we'll be uh, back at the top spot of the ladder. Uh, we're gonna play auto amount of energy. Haven't played that in a few ranked videos. Um, this is the current deck. It's been working very well. Um, I expect Excogitator and Wind Up Automaton maybe to be nerfed soon because they really push Automatons into probably the OP range. Uh, but I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, found right away. Got Scrollers, so we'll definitely get enough uh, rating from this to be number one if we win. But it might be tough to win because Vet Scroll is a very strong player. I'll mulligan this. Um, two, three drops, that's it. Not really that good. Uh, this is a much better starting hand. I'll get rid of the early Machinated. I'm not just going to put down a Copper Automaton just to waste it and have a hidden idol. Um, I hope he's playing. This is like a good hand against Growth. I have Canister Auto, very good against Growth. Blast Automaton, very good against Growth. An Order is actually okay against also. Maybe not Leaking Order. Um, Play down the uh, Canister Auto, pretty good against Order. Order has a lot of three health creatures that you can get very good value um, when they kill it. So it looks like he may be playing late game Order. Um, in that case, Automata Forge is very good. I'll get rid of the Copper Automaton and I'll just play a Forge on the bottom here because I think I want to save this spot for uh, an Excogitator. Excogitator, I like putting in that spot because that way it attacks or it spawns the automaton before anything else on the board attacks So you get the attack buff before anything happens. It's just good for optimizing good vital damage So he plays that probably avoiding a burn Joke on him though because I don't even have a burn <laughs> uh, Now here's a tough choice for me. What do I want to sacrifice? You know, I'm tempted to get rid of the cannon automaton and just like be at five here but it really shouldn't be, so I'm going to start pumping this Excogitator. So I'm going to get rid of the Blast Automaton. Yeah, the Blast Auto is going to go. Uh, I'm going to pump. And I'd rather him destroy this than destroy the Forge. So I'll just move down. So next turn I'll get the Excogitator down, and I might just start pumping that every turn. That's what I've been doing when I find an Excogitator, and it's worked out very well. They just can't keep up with all the armored units just coming out fast. Uh, so sometimes I like to not put it in the front row because I really like to protect it. I might put it in the middle top. I always like to put it on one of the top lanes so that I can maneuver to get the attacks in after. Alright, he gets down an expedition guard. Wind up automaton's not really going to do anything here. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of the cannon automaton. I'm just going to pump this excogitator every turn. It's up here out of the way. Uh, so yeah. And I'm also going to move you back because I kind of want... I was going to say I wouldn't mind if the gun automaton spawned in front of it. Uh, because then it would save it for a turn. It's like I want to see if I can get an attack off with it. But whatever. We'll see uh, if the expedition guard is just going to throw the forge here. And that's what he will do. Royal Vanguard up there. Okay. So, decent start for Vet Scroll. I'll get rid of the wind up automaton here and just double pump. So, I will have three attack from this canister automaton. So, this is going to go to one health. Uh, and I'll hide the gun auto behind here. So, next turn, I can pump this again or I can burn something. Maybe I'll have to burn this, but I'd really like to pump. But he engaged uh he engaged the excavator with this with this Royal Vanguard. And that's not burnable. Okay, so now yeah, I'm not gonna I'm gonna I wish I could play the copper auto too, but I have to I wanna I wanna keep the burn. I am gonna double pump though.
power trip would be okay here. I'm not gonna do it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna protect this. Uh, I do like protecting that. He could still destroy it, I think, if he's lucky. I don't know. A potency burst might be good just to take out one of these one health things, but I can pump and play the potency first. Actually, no, I need one more resource. Just a bit more. Alright, so he, I, uh, I was lucky that the poly didn't move him down. He would have been able to kill him with his expedition guard. Getting idle damage from him is pretty good also, though. Decimation is going to allow him to destroy him. Okay. So now it's going to allow me to pump again, but it's not really doing a whole lot. Because I'm going to do it, though. But this whole pumping thing... It's, uh, not really accomplishing much. Allow me to ramp slightly ahead of him. I do have a potency burst for, like, his strong creatures, though. I only have one burn. Wish I had, like, a thunder surge. I mean, he's kind of playing around with a thunder surge anyway, so it probably wouldn't do a whole lot. I do finally have a power trip, so I can go a burn and a potency burst in this turn. This coming turn. So that could change things for me. Okay, he's gonna finally take out that wise choice. I did get decent value from that. If anything, uh, the scouts that spawn kind of protected me from my for, from the idols for a bit. And there's him. Okay, what I'll do is I think I'm gonna I'm going to oh I could play a solemn giant. No, that's, that's crazy. So I will go for the power trip. Oh no, it's going to give me... I'm going to have enough. I'm going to burn you so I can take you down. Then I think I'll play the Echomaton and Potency Burst him and just leave this Royal Vanguard up there. I could Potency Burst the Royal Vanguard, but then I give this up to just dying. And I'd rather not do that. So I'm just going to get the Echomaton down. And Potency Burst. Okay. So now, it looks close. The game looks close, but I have more resources than him. But he can deal a lot of idle damage fast. I'm going to look for a, another Potency Burst, another Burn. I want more removal. Uh, getting more creatures down in a Battle Dance would work as well. I'm glad this game is closer than the last couple of ranked match videos I had. Uh, it seems like it was, I was soaring up to near the top of the ladder, just pretty quick matches, but this one seems it's going to be a tough win. I think I've had good draws and he's had good draws, so pretty fair. Another Royal Vanguard. Those, these big creatures are tough for me to handle. But a Royal Vanguard by himself on the bottom of the board, probably not that bad. I'll get rid of the Automata Forge here. Thunder Surge. Uh, that's that's going to be the play solely because I don't have another way of sending my resources efficiently. And I'm going to move down uh, because it looks like I can get a free kill on this Vanguard. And I hope to find my burns... Thunder Surge and Potency Burst again. I have two more Thunder Surge, two more Burns, and two more Potency Bursts, right? So I definitely have the removal still in the deck to clear up the top of the before he destroys these idols. Looks like he is Tempo Order, so he really doesn't have to do that much idol damage before he can whittle down with Decimations. And Automatons can take a while to win if you don't have a lot of Scout Autos. Uh-oh. That means he's going to win with two decimations. I have to be fast here. So it looks like he is going that plan. And we have to take that out fast. Uh, let's 
Sacrifice the Echo Maton for scrolls. Okay, I'll kill you with you. I need to get protection in front of this idol. And then I'll also play a... Uh, a copper automaton here. I'm not going to move here because then he could just uh, roast a beam potion and like focus and kill me. Okay, now we hope that he doesn't have two decimations left in his deck cycle. He probably does though because he wouldn't have done that play if he didn't. Okay, this is why Tempo Order is so scary. Like, you really have to take out their units or else they'll kill you in idle damage. Okay, so it doesn't look like he has a Blessing of Haste or anything. Alright, so that's good for me in that... Um, I'll another turn. I really need to find a Potency Burst. Or a Battle Dance or something. Yeah, Battle Dance would work. Let's find a Battle Dance. Awesome. Um, I'm going to get rid of the... Do I need the Scout? Yeah, Scout would be good because then I can take out this guy. So I'm going to sacrifice the Excogitator. Okay, so Scout Battle Dance is going to work. Um, what I'll do... Yeah, Scout is that guy. That's going to clear the board. Um, so... Four, six, three. Oh yeah, I don't really need to do a whole lot here. Battle dance. Close to winning the game after this. I have to go like this. Okay, that's gonna clear that stuff out of the way. This is gonna clear that. And now Vets roll is just in. He's in um, find. He's in find his decimations mode. I do have a bunch of scout autos on the board now, so I will be able to do idle damage pretty quickly. It's a race against the clock. That is going to help him out finding his decimations. But he can sift three scrolls at a time with that. Hopefully, he did not find a decimation there. Okay. I will get rid of the Stone Enigma. Scrolls. Ooh, a Battle Dance. That could be what wins me the game. Should I just do it right now? Another Battle Dance? I can destroy that idol, that idol, and leave an idol in the middle. I'm tempted to. I'm definitely tempted to. You know, I'm going to do it in case I, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Might be crazy. I'm also going to show that scout just because. So. Scout. Battle dance. And I will kill you. Um, do I take out middle idol or do I take out that idol? I want to block here in case he has like a skirmisher, double blessing of haste, focus. It wouldn't still, it wouldn't win the game though. I think I'm safe there. I don't think I need a potion of resistance either. Uh, let's go like that. So as it stands, we could win next turn. Uh, just by moving him up, and if he blocks him with anything, if he blocks this idol with anything uh, less than five, less than six health, I can win with a wind up autumn song. And that's without sacking. So, any sacrifices for scroll. Alright, so I think that's the game. Wow, I didn't expect to win that. After he got this down to three health, wow. GG. WP. That was a that was a close one. I'm glad uh 
I got a good ranked match recording in today. So I think I'm ranked number one now. Um, that was very, a very scary game. Plus nine, awesome. Um, and let's see if I can hold on to this spot for a while. Alright, so like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more content. I'm streaming a lot on Twitch. Make sure you follow there, follow on Twitter and all that stuff. And why am I not number one yet? Uh, oh no, I don't think I am. It looks like Tajik. It looks like Tajik just played a ranked match and he's at 1888. So I'm still two below him. Oh well. Um, still important I didn't lose that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Keep on scrolling, Scrollgers.